Takže já poprosím Kateřinu Holcmanovou, aby uvedla dnešního speakera. Hezké odpoledne všem. Tak já bych vás, vám chtěla představit našeho hosta, jehož jméno je Chuy, jinak také Matthew Travela a má neuvěřitelný post, jak jste si mohli všimnout. Je to Developer Advocate Google nebo pro Google a je zodpovědný vlastně za webmaster outreach program a developer outreach program v rámci celé Evropy. Zajímavé se uh, soustředuje na vyhledávání, ale patří tam mezi jeho produkty Open Social, YouTube, API a tak dále. Takže pokud byste měli i dotazy týkající se těchto produktů, tak uh, po skončení určitě se můžete ptát. So, shall I translate for you? No, it's okay. I just say you're the best. You know? oh, nice. <laughs> I think this is, is this on? Can you hear me through yeah, this? Yeah, cool. Okay. That makes it a bit easier. Hello, everyone. Ahoy! I don't even tell what to say. That's the only check I know I'm afraid of, from one word I'll say for the end, um, which will be thank you, I guess. I'm going to try changing slides with this, but if it doesn't work, Katarina's very kindly offered to sit there and push space for me. Um, I normally do this to a much smaller audience, so I can sit there with my computer, but um, I guess you guys like to do things very big here, so welcome and thank you for coming. Uh, my worst habit, absolutely, is speaking too quickly. So if I do go too fast, wave, throw paper, I'll slow down. Okay? But please, if I go too fast, do tell me. It's a really bad habit, I know. So we're going to talk about webmaster tools today. Um, we're going to have a look at some top advice for making sure that your website gets listed. And we're going to look at some of the tools that Google makes available for you. And talk about some of the hot topics um, which lots of webmasters encounter and how to address those. So. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, that's oh no, it's working now. Is it working? Yeah. So, here's the agenda, which I've just told you. Is that new? So, first of all, understanding search. Um, Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. I guess you guys know that. Um, there's a pretty big um, world of the web. There's lots of websites that we have to index. Um, and here are some numbers that are kind of interesting. Uh, this is my favorite. 10 to 25% of the web is new every time we go and crawl it. And we crawl the web about once a month. That means there's a huge amount of new content being generated all the time. There are around 60 billion email messages sent today. I think Katarina told me there's about 5 million check users online and 20% year on year growth over here. So obviously you guys have a pretty explosive market too. It's important that if you have content, you get it out there and it's indexed properly. Um, how does search work? How many of you uh, know roughly how we go and crawl things? Okay, well, it's lucky there's a picture here, which explains it wonderfully. Um, so what happens is, first of all, we crawl the web, we go out. There's three main parts. One, we crawl the web. We go out and try and find all the pages we can. The second is that we calculate the page rank of each of those pages. Uh, we work out, and we'll talk about how that's calculated in a minute. And then we build the index, and then we serve results to users. Every time a search is done, um, we're, de well, we're basically we're downloading copy of the web. We have to take a copy of everything we're allowed to crawl, and we'll talk about permissions in a minute, um, and create an index of that. We look at the interesting words on the web page, and remember which pages those are with. And we crawl continuously. That's very important. We're always crawling content. And depending on the size of your site and the page rank of it, we'll come and crawl it more or less frequently. For example, I have a blog that me and my mother read, and it's crawled about once a month. Um, something like eBay will be crawled a lot more frequently, perhaps once a day, because they have a lot more content, and it's a lot more interesting to people. Here's how we calculate page rank. Essentially, uh, it's the number of links which point to your site from external sources. And the more important that site is, the more page rank the site which points to you has, um, the more useful that link will be. But every single link is valuable. So there's never a bad link, there's never a bad referral or a bad link you can have from someone, except in some circumstances, which we'll talk about later. Um, but what we're doing is running around, calculating all these links, counting your page rank, Looking at the links back to your site, uh, looking at the links out from your site, and then calculating the page rank for there for other sites, and then having to calculate there and there and there. So it's always ongoing, always updating. As I mentioned, it's like the index of a book. We pick out the interesting words, and then we try to identify which pages contain those interesting words. So when you do a search for beer, for example, we'll find pages um, that contain beer, and the order we'll display them in will be their page rank. As you can probably imagine, Google.com, Google.c, they have a very good page rank because they have a lot of links going into them. But they don't have very many words. 
So they'll appear top for something like Google because they have the most links coming in, but they won't appear top for Bear because there's no mention of Bear yet, I guess, on the Google homepage. Who knows, maybe one day.